Greetings, m squared, and we're going to take linear equations up a level where on these equations we have to combine like terms before it becomes a two-step equation. So we've been doing two-step equations, but now we're going to have to combine a few things first. If you look at example one, you'll see that on the left side there's just a number, but on the right side we have two x, x terms and one constant term. So we want to combine the two x terms. So we do that by taking whatever the sign is in front of it. If there isn't one, it's a 3x. And this says plus 2x. So we have 3x plus 2x, and that equals 5x. So when we combine these, we get a 5x. And what's left is a minus 18 on the right side, and we just drop down the 42 because there was nothing on the left side that we needed to do. So now it's a two-step equation. Now I have to get rid of the constant term first, so I add 18 to both sides. 4 plus 1 is 5. Whoops, I should not have done that. 8 plus 2 is 10, carry the 1, so that makes that a 60. Equals, that zeroes out because 18 minus 18 is 0, and 5x. So now I have to divide by 5 on both sides, and x equals, because 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 1 times x is x. 60 divided by 5, 5 goes into 6 one time with 1 left over goes into 10 two times. So 60 divided by 5 is 12. Now I want to show you how you can check that in your calculator by plugging this 12 back in for every x. Sometimes we make a mistake when we combine things, so it's really important that you check the 12 in the original equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this right side in my calculator. You want a calculator that you can actually write a bunch of stuff in. Um, that you'll see it on the screen. And every time I see an x, I'm going to put a 12 in, because that's what I think 12 is. So I'm going to say 3 parentheses, meaning multiplication, because that's what 3 times x. When a 3 is right next to an x, it means multiplication. So 3 times 12 minus 18 plus 2 times 12. And it's all in there at once. If it equals 42, I know that I did it correctly. It does. Beautiful. Moving on, you should really check every single one. I won't take the time to check all of them. I'll do this one for you because it has a fraction, but then the rest I'll let you do on your own. So notice that I have a constant term, an x term, and a constant term. So because I have two constant terms on the left side, the same side, then I want to combine them. So I have a 6 and a minus 15. Well, what is 6 minus 15? It's negative 9. And then this is what's left. Don't forget the sign in front of it. It's a minus 4x equals negative 1. And so again, now I have a two-step equation. So to get rid of the constant term, I'm going to add 9. I'm doing the opposite of what was happening. It was a minus 9, I'm going to add 9. Or it was a negative 9 plus 9. Either way. Negative 4x equals 8, because negative 1 plus 9 is 8. And now, I, to get x alone, I have to do the opposite of multiplying by negative 4, which is dividing by negative 4. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1. 1 times x is x. 8 divided by negative 4. A, negative, a positive divided by negative is a negative, and 8 divided by 4 is, oops, already got the negative, is 2. x equals negative 2. Like I said, you can check that one on your own and see if I'm right. Over here, constant term, x term, constant term. So I need to combine these constant terms. Well, 15 minus 13 is 2. Now I want to get rid of the constant term first, so I'm going to minus 2 from both sides. And um, that's 0, and 0 minus this is just this guy. And 4 minus 2 is 2. So remember, when we have a fraction, the way to get rid of the fraction to get x alone is to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this fraction. Well, the reciprocal of this is 5 over negative 2. Now, I'm going to put negative 5 over 2. It's the same thing as 5 over negative 2. If there's one negative in the fraction, it doesn't matter if it's in the top, out in front, or in the bottom. They're all negative. These negative 2's cancel out because negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1, 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 1 times x is x. I'm going to divide first. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 times a negative 5 is negative 5. Now let me show you how I would check that over here. Let's get to where you can see it. Maybe over here is good. Okay, 
So I'm going to put in this left side of the equation exactly like I see it. Instead of x, I'm going to put what I think x is. So 15 minus, now I have a fraction key, it's right here. And I'm going to say 2, I mean, you know what, I'm going to have to use a parenthesis here. Um, I'm going to say 2 times negative 5. I don't know if it'll let me do the negative 5 in there. It might not like that. Fraction 5 minus 13. It, it gave me an error. Okay, so we're going to do it different. I want you to know that negative 2 fifths times x is the same as negative uh, minus 2x over 5. So this is the same thing. And actually the computer, I mean the calculator won't let me do that either, so I'm going to have to put a, that minus out there. So I'm going to go 15 minus 2 fraction 5, there's my 2 fifths, that's what it looks like, times x, which we said is negative 5, minus 13. And we got 4, and that's what they said it was supposed to be. So that's my check. So it's nice to have a little calculator to check if you don't want to do it by hand. Okay, x term, constant term, x term, x terms get combined. So 15 minus 7, 15x minus 7x is 8x, the 20 comes down, minus 44. Now it's a two-step equation, so I want to get rid of the constant term first. So I add 44 to both sides. Cancels out there with a 0, and 8x plus 0 is just 8x. And over here I get 64. To get rid of my coefficient of 8, I'm going to divide both sides by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1, so I get a 1x. And 64 divided by 8 is 8. And like I said, you can check that one on your own. Good luck solving multi-step equations. M squared, signing out.